let's consider this question. This is a rational limit function with square root at the numerator. But the square root at the numerator does not extend to minus 4. The first step is let's apply direct substitution that is plug in to the function. That is wherever we see x we are going to substitute 9 and we got 0 over 0 which is indeterminate. Next step number 2 rationalize the numerator by conjugate. That is, I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by everything at the numerator. However, I'm going to change the arithmetic operator sign that separates them. This means, instead of this minus, I'm going to have a plus for the conjugate. Remember, everything at the top will be multiplying and everything at the denominator will also be multiplying. Before we go to the next step, let's recap. From laws of indices, square root of a multiplies square root of a. It is the same thing as a to the power of half multiply a to the power of half which is the same as a to the power of this half we add to this half and 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1 which is the same thing as a you can see because these two a's are the same it's going to return just one of it considering the square roots that both of them have Likewise, A can be anything. Here, A can represent X plus 7. And from the law of indices, it returned X plus 7. We are going to apply this to the function. Hence, this function becomes this function. That is, square root of X plus 7 multiply square root of x plus 7 we give us x plus 7 next square root of x plus 7 we multiply 4 and we're going to have 4 multiply square root of x plus 7 this is done next is the minus 4 minus 4 multiply square root of x plus 7 and we're going to have minus 4 square root of x plus 7. Next, minus 4 multiply plus 4 and we are going to have minus 16. Next, at the denominator, x plus 9 will multiply everything on this side and we bring them together. Next, 4 multiply the square root of x plus 7 will cancel out 4 minus 4 multiply x plus 7 square root. Next, we are left with this function. Next, this, we take away this. Next, we take the limit of the remaining function. That is, wherever I see x, I will now input 9. And 9 plus 7 will give you 16 and our answer is 1 over 8 and from the options our answer is B next let's consider this question the first step if you plug in infinity into this function you are going to get an indeterminate solution Hence, in step number 2, we are going to rationalize this function by conjugate. That is, I will multiply this function by the numerator and also by the denominator. However, the arithmetic operator separating them will change. Next, this 
we we'll multiply this and you're going to get this next this we we'll multiply x and you're going to get this next this minus x we we'll multiply this and you're going to get this lastly at the numerator minus x we we'll multiply plus x and you're going to get minus x squared while one at the denominator we we'll multiply everything here and it will return next this plus we we'll take away this minus next in the remaining function x squared we we'll take away minus x squared and we are left with this function next at the numerator the highest power of x is 1. Hence, I will divide this x with x. At the denominator, everything inside this square root, I'm going to divide h with x squared. Because x squared is the highest power of x. That is, this will be divided with x squared and this will be divided with x squared. Next, the x that is not enclosed in the square root will be divided by x because this x the highest power is 1. Next x will take away x, x squared will take away x squared and this x will take away just one x, x will take away x and we are left with this remaining function. Next I will take the limit of this function that is i'm going to replace x with infinity substituting for infinity one over infinity is zero and one plus zero is one and our answer is one over two and from the options our answer is d next Consider this question. Here, this cube root enclosed the function. And as x tends to infinity, I will consider the highest power of x in this function, both at the numerator and at the denominator, because everything is enclosed inside a cube root. Next, I will use x to divide each of the variables. Next, this x will cancel out. Next, I will take the limit of this function as x tends to infinity. That is, wherever I see x, I will substitute infinity. Next, recap that any number that divides infinity is zero. Hence, you now have the cube root of one over two. We can rearrange this to become this. Both are the same. And this becomes our answer. And from the options, it seems that we're going for none. However, you need to rearrange the result. We actually got this. However, we can take the two up and it acquire minus one, which is the same. And the minus will multiply one over three at the top. The answer is option A. Next, you can try out this question. And if you solve correctly, you are going to get C which is 1 over 8. Next, in this problem, we are going to consider the highest power of x in this system. And you can see it is x to the power of 2. Because of the presence of this square root, I will divide everything at the numerator with x squared. However, at the denominator, I'm going to divide everything at the denominator just with this x. 
next this will take away this and x will take away x next we take the limit of the remaining function next you now input infinity in the places of x and any number that divides infinity is zero square root of one is one and our answer is one over three which is b can check out for other videos in precalculus and to locate these videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video